the action and we're certainly looking forward to it here at the Estadio della Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It is Villarreal facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Asenko is the man between the posts. Ibora starts alongside Manu Trigueros in central midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Tony Kors starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. we expect to see from him today well it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player he can go past defenders with ease he can play in tight areas and he has that bit of trickery as well i'm really looking forward to seeing him play today what can they do from here cross could be useful not the best clearance he'll have a go here well after that attempt gobbled up by the keeper of the chance Ligueros Ibora Capu Paco Alcacer Karim Benzema Tony Kroos full of ideas on the passing front and the opening goal of the contest comes from Aiden Azar well as you can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal
Mendy. Casemiro. Modric. On to Bale. Really good challenge. Karim Benzema. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Head over towards the back post. And still danger here. But offside is the decision here. The flag is up. Thinking it through. Can they slot it home? Well, no damage done. Well, still behind here. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. made it so difficult for the striker his presence alone just caused him a problem well can they draw level here the crowd certainly thinks so trying to pick out a teammate just wanted to get it out of there an unforced error you've got to say and the cross is very much on. Moreno. And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. stoppages we will have two extra minutes Tony Kors the ball with Luka Modric that is that for the first half here well, Aidan Azar the sort of player just about any top club in world football would want to have in their ranks and he's doing the job for his team in this one Stuart yeah, I think he'd be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal and a good overall performance from him. But the next goal is going to be key, I think. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Casemiro. This is Kors. Now Casemiro. David Alaba. Azar on the ball. Good work to regain possession. Mario Gaspar. Pau Torres. 
Capu now. Ibora takes the shot and the keeper there to deal with it. Hazard on to Benzema. Benzema seducing with his passing. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And time for the change now. clearance that was needed only well, one possession back what can they do from here Gareth Bale in position at the back post well a poor effort from a difficult angle Stuart well he took the wrong decision there he surely had to cut that back situation developing Alcacer Moreno and a chance for him to notch in front well given the position he found himself in he really should be testing the keeper superb opportunity squandered and he'll be disappointed so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances it's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here committed challenge bodies forward and the break looks on Benzema with freedom can they keep it going Casemiro here's Kors Luka Modric Close down straight away. Still level. Real Madrid continue to look for what could be a winner. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Ten minutes to go. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got side by quite a lot well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game a decent looking attack here oh, lovely incisive pass oh, it didn't happen for them in attack still 
pushing for a winner. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Mendy. Hazard. And slipped through beautifully. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over and nothing to choose between the sides.